During the winter holidays, I have the perfect recipe to keep you warm. Today I'm preparing chili beans. Don't confuse this recipe with chili because this is chili beans. More meaty, a lot of red kidney beans, and bean juice to pour over your rice. This recipe is prepared with ground turkey, smoked turkey sausages, tomatoes, peppers, and spices. These beans are rich with flavor, thick, and makes a delicious hearty meal that the family will enjoy. Start by pouring your beans in a separate bowl. Then add water and rinse the beans several times until the water becomes clear. Next, sort through your beans to look for rocks that may have made it in your bag during packaging. An easier way to search to see if you have rocks in your beans is pouring your beans out on the table and searching through them individually, or you can do it how I'm doing it. In a large pot, add in your oil, then place in your frozen ground turkey over a medium heat. Let your ground turkey cook for three minutes on each side or until the meat begins to thaw out gradually. Then scrape off the pieces of meat that can be separated from the frozen meat while it continues to cook. All together, your ground turkey should cook for about 30 minutes. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media platforms, TikTok, Instagram, and of course, YouTube. Continue to let the meat cook and chop the rest of the meat into smaller pieces. Then add in your smoked turkey sausages, your onions, your red and yellow bell peppers, your spices, which will include the chicken bouillon, smoked paprika, onion powder, chili powder, garlic powder, and Himalayan salt. Now combine your spices with your meat. Next, pour in your kidney beans and add enough water just to cover the top of your beans. Let the beans cook for about two hours on a medium high heat and partially cover the beans with a top. The beans have been cooking for two hours and this is how they look. Now we're gonna let the beans cook for another hour and then come back and check the progress. When the beans are halfway through their cooking time, you wanna pour your tomatoes and continue to let them cook. And off camera, I add two more cups of water to my pot. Now I'm going to let these beans cook for two more hours and I'll be back with the finished results. In a separate bowl, add in your chili beans and sprinkle some shredded cheese on top.
Instead of using saltine crackers for my chili beans, I'm using crispy sea salt gluten-free crackers. They're thin and very tasty. Try them, you'll love them. If you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit your notification bell and share my channel with everybody in your contacts. Wait, wait, wait. Let's be more realistic. Just share my channel with at least one or two people. Bye.